Tuesday, 10.30 p.m. Hey, Eric, it's Mike from Royal Names. Uh, uh, Fresh Jam will be next week, it's the 28th. That will be from 2 to 5 at the Roxy. Uh, I'll see that. What's that? What's up, man? We were five years ago, we were all fucking still headbanging fucking losers, man. You know, we're like guys with real jobs and kids and life's over, man. <laughs> you know, it's over. Anyway, we want to give a special thank you to Tommy. Taking time out of his life saving job. And I got a phone call a couple weeks ago saying we're doing a reunion. You in. And here I am. Our original drummer couldn't make it, but Tommy is so kind to not fight fires tonight to come fucking jam for you. What do you say? Here comes the Grim Reaper Loon. <laughs> I, you know, I always had more remains in in my heart because I knew that this was a great band that can go places. So it was always, you know, always that one, the one last shot. Good to see you, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to tell me how some of these go, dude. Even when I was listening to, <laughs> when I was listening to, oh even I was like, holy shit, uh, we fucking played that fast, man. I don't know if I can do that anymore. Well, my life is now officially over. I drive a bus for the New York City Transit Authority, so uh, ever since. Uh, we called it quits. It was definitely time to get a real job. That's why I'm giving out the CD. This is what we're really supposed to sound like. Yeah. We, used to sound like we used to sound like this. We used to be this good. As far as music is concerned, you know, um, I still write, but uh, I don't really write metal anymore. I really write all kinds of rock music, from like ballads to to heavy rock to not so heavy rock to fusion rock to progressive rocks, you know, all kinds of different kinds of, you know, uh, genres I like to touch. See? Uh-huh. It's going direct. Look, see, the guitar's going through. It's, get, it's getting a signal. Is this on? <laughs> see that? Yeah. It's getting a signal, so. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. See? Input, input. <laughs> Yo, this can't be that hard, man. You just, just turn it on and plug it in. I'm boggled, man. Can you help uh, Mike out? He can't get his guitar to the end. I... That seems to be the problem. What did I do wrong? I don't think any of the levels were up. The whole thing was flat. <laughs> 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 Oops. So that'll, Which that'll one? keep the sound from... Uh, Where? Which one? Well, like... All right. <laughs> or, or, perhaps not. Hey, hey, hey! Well, I feel like I'm back. You know, the family man, all that other nonsense. Well, I'm divorced, you know, or going through it, I should say. Um, I'm a weekend dad, you know. Um, you know, because you got to work to pay the bills. And, uh, you know, the, the, this whole thing here is just kind of like bringing back to life within me, you know, something really, really, uh, something long missed, you know. A big chunk that's been empty for a while, you know. I think in the entire time I played guitar maybe a handful of times and I think maybe two or three of them were singing to my children. We haven't played for six years but it really feels like we haven't played for six months. You know, everybody's still into it, everybody's 100% dedicated. <laughs> how you know that you know things are still you know gelled <laughs> you know I mean I'll always do music always always do music but as far as like being with the band this is like the Woodstock like I said the other day at rehearsal this is it this is it this is the finale for me you know I don't want to do it anymore but I do want to have one special night with all my friends, not only in the bands, but who are going to be in the audience and with the brothers that I played with for so many years. Yay.